Uh, we have a viper. Ooh, and the panda. Oh, he's so cute, uh, but hungry. Does Hi, it's Level1975, and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One. And today, I'm back talking about that commander of ours, the Attack Panda. Now, the Attack Panda has only been with the Dark Marauders a very short period of time. But he's already evolved, and got very involved in the game, got very involved in the activities of the Dark Marauders, and made a name for himself, and already creating a bit of a reputation around his behavior. Um, he is someone that will savage you in comments, <laughs> and he's quite happy to uh, stand up to 2v1s, have fun in combat, and generally enjoy himself pirating. I think he's found a home within the Dark Marauders which will allow him to flourish into the panda that he's always wanted to be. And it was at an early age that his mother knows there was something special about Attack Panda and something to keep an eye on him for. Even at an early age, Panda was able to scare people, and now he's developed a real taste for denim, as you can tell by his dashboard, this clip, and also the fact that his carrier is called Denim Storage. Panda's absolutely wild, getting out there daily searching for commanders with clothing on board. He wants some good quality denim. He really is looking hard for it. Uh, this clip is a 1v1 that went slightly wrong because the person had crimes on and brought a compatriot along. A few of us Dark Marauders were nearby asking Panda if he needed any assistance, but Panda was like, no, I need no help. And he killed the guy who challenged him to the 1v1 and the other guy that turned up ran away. <laughs> so Panda was more than happy with that result. He has been working hard, getting his engineers unlocked, getting his ships ready, um, you know, getting ready for PvP proper. Um, he's been dipping in and out with a few fights with us. He's throwing himself out there, getting involved, which is all we ever ask for from the Dark Marauders. We're not a PvP squadron, you know, we're not sweaty, try-hard PvPers, but as long as you put yourself out a bit, have a bit of a laugh with it, you know. He's been uh, mastering the basics, taking up some training, really getting himself, you know, ready to be the attack panda that he's going to flourish into. He's been hunting down and killing imps, accepting any challenge that comes his way, and just working hard generally on his ships, getting them ready to really, you know, show the elite dangerous community what the attack panda is all about. And honestly, seeing his progression in just such, such a short space of time and how he's taken to new ideas, new builds, um, piracy, combat, you know, got his ships ready, um, done his engineering, worked really hard. You know, I actually am genuinely terrified as to what we might create with the Attack Panda. I mean, genuinely, if he progresses at the rate he's been progressing and continues this trend, you know, you may want to fight him sooner rather than later because I feel when this panda reaches its final form, it could be something fearsome. Yeah, I've just got this feeling that, you know, down the road, you know, give it a few months, maybe six or seven, and if this panda asks you for your denim, you're just going to want to give it to him. Because trust me, you won't want to face him when he reaches his final, final form and his final stage of evolution into the attack panda. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching.